Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. We're just having today's video, and if you are a celebrator, Merry Christmas. So yes, I am purposefully doing this Merry Christmas beer um, today. So bourbon barrel aged partridge in a pear tree, bourbon barrel aged Belgian style quadruple ale brewed with spices, 14.2% ABV. Uh, if you don't know this about me, I love quads. Um, actually, another thing about it, it was that's the first like big beer style I ever liked, uh, thanks to uh, Oma Gang's three, uh, three philosophers. Um, you know, if you watch my channel a lot, you probably you know would be surprised to learn initially I didn't like uh, stouts at all uh, when I got into drinking craft beer, and this was the first like or in uh, Belgian style quads were the first like you know around ten percent uh, ABV beers that I actually liked. So yeah, definitely always love doing quads. Um, Tradition and innovation consider this a blend of the two. Inspired by the rich and welcoming flavors of a certain pear dessert, this quadruple ale sings uh, traditionally familiar notes of dark sugar, caramel, and spice. We reserve some of last year's ale and in traditional brewery style aged it in bourbon barrels to gain complexity. This well-balanced, seasonally, seasonably spiced ale is meant to be shared on special occasions with family and friends. Special occasion check. Family and friends, not so much. Um, I don't. Maybe my wife would like this beer. I don't know she likes some Belgian style beers, more like wits and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, maybe she'd like this. But she also happens to be out of town right now for work while I'm reviewing this. So no, I will not be sharing this. I will be drinking it alone. Let's get into the glass. Proper glassware, so you know it's going to taste better. I went back and forth on that. I'm like, do I get one of my quad glasses or do I just use the um, one of my new uh, uh, brewery glasses? So I used the brewery glass. Does this work on this? No. All right, that's fine. Brown with a nice red, uh, you know, amount of color in there. You can kind of see through it at spots where it's a little thinner, uh, but not much. You know, it, it's, it's definitely a, a burgundy hard to see through beer uh the head about a finger um what is that dark khaki overly milked mocha i don't know somewhere in there uh relatively small bubbles a little sudsy on top looks apart let's get into the aroma that smells great some cherries like molasses what else? Man, there's like some vanilla. So it's interesting how the, like I'm getting the barrel, I'm getting oak specifically, like oak barrel specifically. I'm not getting any bourbon yet though. I'm kind of surprised how strong the cherry note is. Some plum as well, which I do definitely get in quads. Some baker spices or baking spices brown bread it smells nice but yeah I'm, I'm surprised how cherry forward this is anyway well, let's see that oh, that's pretty yeah looks good let's get into the glass cheers that beer is nice wow that is a nice beer I do get some bourbon in the taste, so that's nice. Cause I really wasn't getting in the aroma. Get some of that like oakiness, some of the vanillins, uh, vanillin coming through for sure as well. I don't think I've ever had this beer without barrel aging. What a nice base beer though. Like when I strip away what I'm, what I know is coming from the barrel, um, it is a really lovely sip. It's that you know sweet brown bread in liquid form i get some baking spices they don't specify spices but and i already referenced uh, oma gang's three philosophers so i'm used to those belgian belgian style brewers i should say um like an oma gang or or you know breweries that brew belgian style beers um sometimes adding spices to kind of accentuate what that beer style does what that beer in particular does um so definitely not as a you know i'm definitely not a stranger to that and i really like how they they did that and at no point is anything contradictory so it's not like they put something in this and like it goes sideways where you're like man i'm enjoying all these flavors and then wait what's this flavor you know like everything very cohesive everything works in here what year is this 
2021. So it has, maybe that's part of the reason. I even realized this was aged uh, for two years. Um, uh, was it, oh, I mean, that could explain partially, you know, you know why this uh, is such a cohesive experience. I don't know, but yeah, these flavors are super melded together. Uh, good level of sweetness, never cloyingly sweet. Some nice uh, like caramel notes. Um, not quite toffee, but maybe approaching toffee even. And yeah, this like molassesy brown bread thing. It's not savory at all. Like it's not soy saucy at all. But like through that molasses brown bread thing, you get some balance to the sweetness. And I can't quite identify it better than just saying like it does bring some balance to the sweetness. And it's not, yeah, again, it doesn't get like savory soy saucy, but it's like, there's got to be a word for this. That aspect is bringing balance. That's the best I can do right now, and I apologize, because I'm sure there's a better word or words that would articulate that. For how strong of the um, uh, cherry thing I was getting, the aroma, not a ton in the taste. You do get notes of plum wine. Um, for this style, I love when there is that plum thing. This has it, but not like a ton. So that'd be my really my only knock. Like this is a great sip. Like I'm loving this. I'm I'm like super glad I paid for this bottle and I'm drinking it right now. Like all of that is awesome. And if I had to find one knock on it, that's the only thing I'm looking for that's not in here. Um, you know, there like I said, there is enough bourbon in the taste for me. Um, would I take a little bit more? Sure, but I'm not mad at the amount that's here. So like to me, it's a it's a non-issue. And uh, again, coming from the aroma where I was getting way more cherry and no bourbon at all, the sip. Uh, has a little bit of that cherry, but has a little bit of that bourbon. Like, they, they kind of, like, level out, you know? Um, and I really appreciate that. So, yeah, this is this is absolutely delicious. Um, if I had another bottle, I'd gladly drink it next Christmas. I'll put it that way. Let it sit for another year and gladly drink it. Not that it needs any more time. But, man, what a nice beer. More plum on that sip. I mean, you know, maybe it's just me getting in my own head, but that sip had a lot more plum. Um, you know what reminds me of a little bit is that I've already reviewed it. And it should, yeah, it would be posted before this. Um, the Sammy Claus, like it has some of those similar elements where it's sweet, but not just like you're drinking simple syrup. Yeah, this is a nice beer. I, I could keep gushing about this. I'm going to wrap it up. But yeah, if you guys had this beer before, if you had this specific vintage or a different vintage, something else from the brewery you're drinking, something else completely... Oh, duh, I'm posting this on Christmas Day. So if you're watching this on Christmas Day uh, and you celebrate Christmas, how's your day going? Did you have a nice day? Are you drinking something? Or maybe you're watching this in the middle of the day and you're going to open up a beer with dinner. Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get those conversations going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's No Hype Beer Reviews at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.